Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 801, Unit 1, Lesson 1.5, Quantifiers. Before we begin, have a piece of paper and a pen, and let's begin. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to identify the quantifiers, distinguish between the two types of quantifiers, write sentences using quantifiers accurately, all right, so what do you notice? Read the following quantifier words. We have six of them. Many, some, a few, a lot, none, and all. Definition. A quantifier is a word or a phrase which is used to indicate the amount or quantity of something. Now, let's read the following sentences. There are so many places that I want to visit in the future. I need to borrow a few books for my coming research. There are a lot of events in the upcoming month. Would you like to have some water? All the food will be given to those in need. We notice that the first two are countable nouns, used with countable nouns, a few and many. The other three are used in uncountable nouns. Uh, for example, a lot, some, and all. We also have most and none. What are the differences between countable and uncountable? In uncountable nouns, refer to things that can be counted. Can be singular and plural. For example, an apple, some apples. A and the numbers come before the countable noun. For example, a table, the book, two cups. With uncountable nouns, they refer to stuff or liquid, things that you can't count. Always singular, for example, coffee, rice. Any, some, come before the uncountable noun. For example, there is some water in the glass. This is a common knowledge. You can use any with questions, positive or negative statements for both countable and uncountable nouns. Example, do you have any classes today? No, I don't. I, I don't have any classes today. Some is used for both in affirmative sentences. Example, there is some milk, uncountable. There are some pens on the table, countable. Classify the countable and uncountable nouns. You have nouns, you should put them in two categories, countable and uncountable. You have two minutes.
OK, let's check the answer. You see, bananas, photo, apples are all countable nouns, while rice, salad dressing, sugar are uncountable nouns. Well done. Second task, complete the sentences using the correct quantifiers. Let me read them for you. Number one, we need space, chairs for the event. You have to choose between much and a lot of. Two, do you have space, juice in your house? A or any. Three, we need to buy space of the office equipment, most lots of new. Four, my parents gave me space of advice for my future job, some or a lot. Five, could you please give space about the upcoming course? You have to choose between some information and information. You have two minutes. All right, let's check the answers now. The first one, a lot of. And here are the rest. Do you have any juice? We need to buy most of the office equipment. My parents gave me a lot of advice. Could you please give some information? Well done. Writing, now, write at least five sentences using quantifiers. We have the quantifier words. You start with a few, then many, then all, then some, most, a lot, and last, none. Remember, you can use any for both countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns can be singular and plural. A and the numbers come before the countable nouns. Uncountable nouns can only be singular. You have five minutes.
All right. Let's look, take a look at the checklist. You should have capital letters at the end of the sentences. Use quantify words in your text. Use a full stop at the end of sentences and check your spelling. This is the end of Unit 1, Lesson 1.5. Thank you for your attention.